Hey guys, it's Marcus again, and welcome to the niche finding section called the Who Else Method. This is for those of you who already have a niche market in mind, but you want some extra oomph to get it out there to get a lot of traffic to make money. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about my four major methods to finding and unlocking those hidden niche market profits and keywords in any market, even the competitive ones. Now at first glance, you'll notice that your icons have changed into this enter a keyword with all these little icon things here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through each of these within this training. So as you go through, you can enter any keyword, hit the go button, and it'll bring up all the stuff for that particular keyword. So if I go to pay-per-click competition, it's going to go ahead and have that right here with the keyword in it. So it makes it very easy to go through. You can use your Google Keyword Planner with this, and we're going to be opening everything in a new window alongside the training so that you can follow along in a really easy way. Again, this video is for those of you who already have a market in mind, a product in mind, or an offer in mind. If you do not yet have a market or a product or anything like that, go back to the uh, trigger word video and watch that one. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Now, if you're continuing on, I'm assuming you have a market or product. And to show you how this works, we're going to use the example on Max Bounty, which is an affiliate network, of the Go Free Credit offer. This is an offer at Max Bounty that pays us when we get someone to fill out the form for this offer to get a free credit report. Now we can go ahead and click here and see what the actual offer looks like. And it looks like a regular go ahead and get a free credit score kind of thing. Pretty good looking clear page, so it's a good offer. And we can see that it actually converts on, let's see where it converts. It says when they, when they sign up for the trial offer. So it's probably like a three page thing where they go through and put their name and everything like that to get their free credit score. So really good offer. All right, these are very profitable offers. So you know that we're getting paid $26 a lead. Pretty cool stuff. All we got to do is find traffic. But what you're going to find out is when you go to the regular Google Keyword Planner and you type something in like credit score or credit report, you're going to see that these markets are absolutely saturated with competitors. And hopefully we'll get this thing to work here. Let's see if we can get the connectivity back on. All right, I had to log back in. I use a test account for all these videos for uh, testing purposes and everything like that. So it's not an active account. So sometimes I get kicked out. But we're going to go ahead and go like this and hit credit score. Now we're going to see what comes up. And you're going to notice that this stuff is pretty competitive. So what you're going to see here is that the competition is high on all these words. Even free credit report, right, which you think would be cheap because it's free, is high competition and it's almost $8 per click credit report, $18 a click. So what you're gonna notice here is that this offer is making an average of $2.19 a click, which means if I paid $8 a click, I'd be losing $6 every single time someone visited my site. So this is way too competitive. It's not gonna work as is. And what I wanna do is I wanna use this example to show you how to go around the beaten path, how to get away from the competition and find out, as the title states, who else wants this, right? Who else wants a credit report but doesn't know they want it yet? Or who else would benefit from a credit report? Those are the kind of things that we want to look at when going into a market like this that on the first glance looks completely saturated and impossible to work. We're going to show you how to go around the beaten path, find tons of people, make a lot of money. So buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay, so first what we want to do is we want to bring up the four methods we're going to be talking about. And I put credit score niche, so we always keep this in mind. Number one method is who else wants it. We want to go through and find out who else would want a credit score but doesn't know they want it yet. In this method, you want to do some research and come up with some words that will teach you about your market and get you people who want a credit score niche or could benefit from one but don't know it yet. These could be things like people looking to qualify for stuff, right? If they're looking to qualify for a loan, they might need their credit score. Therefore, they might uh, want to figure out what it is before the loan. Okay, so they could be qualifying. They could also want to uh, erase something, right? Like erase a, a bad credit thing or whatever. They could also want something like a charge off, right? 
or something like that. So they can go through and use any one of these types of words. Now you're going to notice that when you go into your Google Keyword Planner here and you utilize a word like qualify, right? we're going to go ahead and type in qualify right? like this and we're going to hit get ideas and what we want to find is things like qualify or whatever it is. All right and when we have qualify check this out we got very low competition. Now the searches are lower but because this is such an expensive very profitable market any amount of searches does good as long as it's not like 90 like this where there's nothing there. All right so we can go through and we can take a look at the various different words here okay and we're going to do um, show only related to my search terms like this okay and we're going to go through and we're going to take a look at qualify do i qualify for medicaid qualify definition qualify for medicare uh, lots of different things look kind of uh, doesn't look that great here a lot of low traffic stuff let's try something hey guys it's marcus here sorry for interrupting your video but we got to pay the bills somehow and what better way than actually offering you more information on how to make money online and that's why I'd like to offer you the chance to get your Affiliate Marketing Dude console for free. That's right, you can download this console for free, get access to my training videos and more. And for my serious students out there, the ones that know you like my videos and you like to learn this stuff and you want even more, go ahead and upgrade to the Simple Sites 2016 desktop software. You're going to see once you log in and you have the Simple Sites 2016 desktop software, you have access to everything at your fingertips. And we're going to show you exactly how to make money online. And as if that's not enough, it also comes with 90 days personal support and coaching. That means you get me to look at your sites, give you advice and everything. As you can see, these videos on YouTube are small little snippets of the videos I provide in our training area. So go to AffiliateMarketingDude.com, put your name and email in the box, get the free console, and if you're serious about making money, go ahead and upgrade to Simple Sites 2016 and we'll make money online together. Ah, okay, I'm a big dummy. I actually had California turned on, so we got to turn these all off and we'll figure out what the rest of the words are here. So we'll get all these off. This was from the last video. I forgot to reset these. All right, so now when we have qualify, we're gonna see a lot more traffic here. Uh, qualify, qualify for Medicare, disability, qualify benefits, different things like that. And we'll have things like qualify for mortgage or something like that as well. Now you can also use words like different types of loans. For example, FHA, okay. They might have different things like how do I qualify for FHA or loan requirements, right? FHA loan requirements could be a very, very, very good word here, right? So we could do limits, we can do requirements, uh, we could do FHA loan rates and things like that. And you'll notice that it's still high competition, but you might find things like FHA calculator, right? So now we have this word FHA calculator. And I want you to take a little trip in the brain of Marcus, if you will, for a minute. And we have this word like FHA loan calculator. Now, it says it's $1.72 in Google, but it is a low competition. So we always got to check these out, right? And we check them out by going to Google and typing in FHA calculator. For FHA calculator, you could see we have several different advertisements, okay? Or ads or whatever you want to call them, pay-per-click results, right? Remember, these are pay-per-click. This is free. In these results, we see that we have under ads, Quicken Loans, FHA Loans, Mortgage Calculator Bank Rate, Web Crawler, Lower My Bills, and FHA. Now you'll notice that we have Web Crawler stuck in here, which says Search Multiple Engines. This is what we call a blanket bidder. Whenever you see Web Crawler, um, Alot.com, About.com, um, anything like that where it's just taking you from a search engine to a search engine they're doing what's called arbitrage which you'll learn about in this course which means that they're just basically bidding on everything right like if I click this you're gonna see that FHA calculator just takes me to another search engine right it doesn't really do all that much so what that means long story short what that means is that when there's a blanket bidder or a very little see there's searchnow.com that's another one there's about.com that's another one ask.com that's another blanket bidder when we have all these blanket bidders like that what it means is we can get this traffic dirt cheap this example at a dollar 72 we can probably get this traffic for less than 30 cents which is great news for us because here we have this fha calculator right we make a little site about fha calculators we tell them about how they qualify 
um, different things like that. We can get them into FHA loans. We can get them into mortgage loans. We can get them into refi. We can get them into credit score. All kinds of different things, right? The, the world is our oyster. And again, look at this as inventory. This is an inventory which could theoretically get you, you know, maybe 30 or 100 different people a month to fill out this form. And if you get 100 people a month, that's 2,600 bucks a month from a little stupid niche like this that isn't even directly targeted to what we're doing, right? These are off the beaten path. This is who else wants it. We can also look at like FHA loan qualifications. This is a little bit more targeted than uh, the calculator, right? Because they're looking for qualifications. You could say the qualifications are a 600 credit score. Do you have 600? Click here to find out for free. There you go, bam, there's your offer. All right, so we could take a look at FHA loan qualifications, right, like this, and we could see if there's any blanket bidders. We have Wells Fargo, these are some big players. We have about.com, that's pretty good. Okay, we have um, prospect mortgage. Okay, we have these guys here, FHA, GMX. Okay, GMX, that's a blanket bidder there. Web crawler, blanket bidder. Itzio, that's a blanket bidder. Okay, good. So we have several blanket bidders. So I'm guessing, even though Google says this is like $6.99 a click, it's not. Okay, it's probably a dollar or less. It's probably less than 45 cents. We can also go to msn.com or bing.com or Yahoo. Those all pull from the same place and do a search for FHA loan qualifications. See how many ads are there. One, two, three. Okay, a couple others. Looks like a lot of the same guys. Bills.com, he's pretty blanket bidding. Okay. Uh, Mortgage Insider, another blanket bidder. All right, so we have quite a few here, um, but it's still pretty cheap. So if we can get traffic here for like less than a dollar a click, which I'm sure we can, we can do pretty good. And there's 2,400 people a month. Right now, we can also go in and use the word qualifications. Right, remember how we had uh, qualify? We could do qualifications. Okay, we can do qualifications, we can do requirements, whatever. All right, and then we go down, we say, okay, accounting, IT, qualifications of a job, qualifications. Okay, getting down into too low of the uh, search amounts here. Okay, let's do something like FHA qualifications and see what comes up here. Okay, FHA qualifications looks pretty good. FHA qualifications for a loan, mortgage qualifications, credit qualifications. Great. This stuff is wonderful. This is gold for your market. Next, we can go in. We can go to credit qualifications, right? We can refine it even more. And as we're going through this, you're going to want to go through and just open up like a notepad like this and start utilizing these, right? We got like qualifications, credit qualifications, and start making a list of all these words because this is going to be your inventory to take and make this niche big. Earned income credit qualifications, FHA, uh, standard, right? Lots of different things here. You can also go through and do um, mortgage qualifications, right? Like this and super easy. And what you want to do is just go down the rabbit trail and find these words and you're going to find tons of stuff that works really good. Qualifications for mortgage and things like that. And even though they're little, right? It's going to add up because you're utilizing all of these. Okay. So there's going to be tons of stuff. Uh, you can also do things like, um, charge off or whatever, uh, or you can do uh, credit score range. Okay, so if we go regular and we just type in credit score like this, and we go through and we type, type in and see what else, who else wants it, like what is a good credit score, that's pretty good, or good credit score. Okay, you can make a site all about good credit scores and then have a little link that says, hey, click here to find out what your credit score is. Bam, you take them to uh, the offer, you know, out of 27,000 people a month at low competition, right? Check this bad boy out. We go here, good credit score. All right, we probably have blanket bidders. There's consumer, that's a blanket bidder. Um, and on and on we go. So again, not that much competition. You can check MSN as well, or Bing, right? Um, and you can see what comes up as well. Not a whole lot of stuff, right? There's no marketers uh, really tackling this. There's a couple of them, but we can get in there. We can get this traffic dirt cheap and do a good job. Again, the idea is to do a good job. If you just make a site about good credit score and have a banner ad on it, you're going to fail, 
right? What you have to do is you have to provide good information, educate your consumers, and tell them where to go to get the info. Okay, really cool. We can go in there um, and take a look at this. An easy way to do this is just go like this, go to credit score, and then go bam, competition, get them all to low. Okay, so we're gonna do it till it goes low to high. Now we have all the low, 600 credit score, 650, perfect, 580. This is gold right here, average, right? All this stuff could be utilized to make a site. You can make a site all about credit score in the 700s. Bam, you get a lot of people. And again, right, it says low $10, but, you know, do the research. You're going to find out that Google is, it's, you know, kind of crazy when they're looking at this stuff because no one's bidding on it except for a couple of people. So, Chances are you can get this for 30 cents or less if you do it right, because you're going to be the guy who's targeted with the 700creditscore.com site and everything like that. Okay, so when you're utilizing this method, uh, who else wants it? You want to go through and you want to find things like qualify, erase, charge off, credit qualifications, FHA qualifications notifications use your main word and get the low competition stuff hey guys it's Marcus here sorry for interrupting your video but we got to pay the bills somehow and what better way than actually offering you more information on how to make money online and that's why I'd like to offer you the chance to get your affiliate marketing dude console for free that's right you can download this console for free get access to my training videos and more and for my serious students out there, the ones that know you like my videos and you like to learn this stuff and you want even more, go ahead and upgrade to the Simple Sites 2016 desktop software. You're going to see once you log in and you have the Simple Sites 2016 desktop software, you have access to everything at your fingertips. And we're going to show you exactly how to make money online. And as if that's not enough, it also comes with 90 days personal support and coaching. That means you get me to look at your sites, give you advice, and everything. As you can see, these videos on YouTube are small little snippets of the videos I provide in our training area. So go to AffiliateMarketingDude.com, put your name and email in the box, get the free console, and if you're serious about making money, go ahead and upgrade to Simple Sites 2016, and we'll make money online together. And as you go through, make sure that you're utilizing the tools on your dashboard because as you go through, I can go through and take something like credit qualifications or FHA qualifications or something like that, right? And I can put that in my power search box right here, okay, FHA qualifications, hit go. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me everything, right? If I want to check the Google competition, it's going to do the work for me and show me that the actual realistic competition competition is only 12,500, which is pretty much nothing, right? We can also go through and say, well, you know, I want to see what the pay-per-click competition is. And you're going to get a detailed result on the actual pay-per-click competition, right? Remember how Google said it was like $25 million a click? It's actually not, right? You can see there's only 24 advertisers. You can see the different words they're using. You can go through and see the different ads that are show showing up, look for blanket bidders and things like that. And you can get in here very, very quickly, right? Awesome stuff. You just get in there and use it. You can also go through and use the Google Trends. You can search for domain names here if you want to find out what domains are available um, and go through and it'll do all the work for you like that, fhaqualifications.com, um, .xyz, right? Everything. It does the work for you. So utilize this tool. That's why we created it. And you can also go through and find different um, places where you can get videos, uh, resale rights. Like if you made a video on FHA qualifications, what kind of competition are you looking at in YouTube, right? Click the button. It's going to go ahead and do the video results, right? You're only competing with 1,900 people and they're probably not even that targeted. Right, so super easy to do. You can get free traffic in this niche, whatever you want to do. Right, you can go through, you can look for PDFs in your market. Uh, you can find forums about FHA qualifications. You can find clickbait products, resale products, and everything. It's very, very easy to do. And then go through and start buying domain names, right? So I would go through and I'd do like 700creditscore.com or something like that. I'd pick up highestcreditscores.com. I would pick up something like fhacreditqualifications.com or fhaqualifications.com or .org or .net is fine too. Sometimes if it's all, the only thing available, I will go for a .info, but I'd rather have com, net, or org any day of the week. All right, so that's the basic who else wants it method. You do some research, you find out who else would want it. Who else in the world would benefit from a credit score? 
Well, maybe a guy looking for a price on a new car. Maybe a guy looking for buying a house. Maybe a guy looking to clean his credit. Right? Do all this stuff. Do the research. This is where the money is at. The money is in the research. Say it with me. All right? The money's in the research. So what you want to do is you want to utilize that, do the research, and make the money. Next, we're going to go ahead and go through the glossary method. The glossary method is another great way to go in and find different markets that are related to something that at a first glance looks too competitive for the average Joe. And we're going to show you how the glossary method works. We're going to show you how to use it. And we're going to show you how to make a lot of money with it. So let's dive into the glossary method again using the same niche. Now the main goal of the glossary method is to find words and terms only used by a specific market. For example, those of us in the internet marketing world, if you've been going through my videos for any time now, you know we use words like PPC or pay-per-click, SEO or search engine optimization, clicks, traffic, mailing lists, right? These are words that you wouldn't normally use if you were going to invite your friend to launch, unless your friend was an internet marketer. And what we want to do is we want to utilize the words that are used by a market to find off the beaten path niches. Let me show you how it works. First and foremost, what I would want to do is go to my, my uh, power search here and go ahead and type something in like credit score glossary. This is how the glossary method idea came about. And we're going to go ahead and click on Google search. And what that's going to do is it's going to come up with a credit score glossary search and it's going to bring up sites with glossaries with different financial terms or credit terms. So when we go in here and we say, okay, glossary, credit card terms, and glossary, right? We could go through this and we can find different words. Let's say we went to A and we could say account holder, okay, or affinity card, or adverse credit history, or something like that. And what we want to do is we want to go through and find these words that look good, okay? Authorization, obviously that's too broad. However, if we were to go for the C's or something like that, and we were going to do something like uh, card issuer or something like cash advance fee or cash advance rate, okay, or something like that, we can go through and take a look. So here we have something like charge off rate, all right? A charge off rate is something that's specific to the credit market. So we can go through and do charge off rate. Okay, there's 260 clicks, low competition, it's so low it doesn't even have a bid. And we could go through and make a site all about charge off rates, assuming we know what it is, right? You gotta do a little research here and actually make it work. Okay, or we could go through and do something like cosigner, right? Cosigner, find out what kind of things people wanna cosigner on. Right? You can make a site all about having a cosigner, and the entire point of the site could be, pe getting pe yeah, be to get people to go through and find out, hey, you can do it on your own if you check your credit and if your credit matches this stuff. Right? So we could do what happens when a cosigner, definition of a cosigner, uh, responsibility of a cosigner, all kinds of different things. And what you're going to notice is that this stuff is like really golden. Right, consumer credit report. Uh, we could do all kinds of different things. Right, this one's a little bit uh, detailed, but we can actually go through and do like TransUnion or whatever it is. Credit Bureau Risk Score. Okay, you could do something like that. Uh, really cool. So very easy. Um, again, go through the glossary, find out what's out here. Okay, like bank, secured credit card, settlement, setup fee, um, different things like that. Right, judgment. Um, subprime lender, uh, super prime credit, right? All these different things are going to have search results and all you have to do is research them, make a good site that provides information, take you, a, you know, a day or two to make, and then bam, you get traffic. This works really well when you go into terms like stuff, if you were to do um, mortgage application glossary, right? If you do mortgage application glossary, you can go through and say, here's a mortgage glossary, okay, uh, industry terms or whatever, right? We go in here and you can do mortgage glossary like this, and you can find out all kinds of things. So commonly used mortgage loan application derived, sometimes called the whatever application, okay? We could go through and make a site all about this form, right? Find out all the people who are looking for this form, 
low competition, okay? Low competition. And we can go through and say, before you fill this form out, check your credit because you want to know what it is before you get started. We can also help them get into loans and stuff like that, right? It's the idea of anticipating what the market's going to do, right? I can anticipate by the fact that they're searching for this form that they're probably going to fill out a mortgage form, right? We can also go through and do like appreciation, uh, balloon mortgage, uh, bridge loan, right? We can go through if someone says, well, what the heck's a bridge loan? Okay, they go for bridge loan. We can see that uh, competition's low on some of them. Let's go ahead and do this by searches though so we can see the ones that are good. What is a bridge loan, right? Obviously they heard this somewhere. So what is it they want? And we're gonna be the good guy helping them out saying, hey, you know what, maybe you don't need a bridge loan. If your credit's over 600, you could get an FHA. Click here to see if your credit's over 600, then click here to see if there's an FHA. Bam, we just hit them with two affiliate offers based on something that most marketers would have no idea to go for, right? And we're just learning it by this type of stuff. Uh, buy down your rate, that's a popular term. Uh, cash out, refinance, uh, that's probably gonna be really competitive on that one. Uh, closing agent, closing cost. There's an awesome one, closing costs, right? This is a really good one because they're like, well, I'm gonna get a house for 500 grand. What's the closing cost? Bam, you make a little calculator, you make a site about it. This is gold, right? You get them into the credit score stuff. And again, the idea is to go through and make a really good site that helps them with this, all right? Then put them to your offer. And if you're not married to your offer, you know, offer them some other stuff as well. You don't want to just be a one trick pony. You want to be the closing cost expert guy, right? Really easy to go through. Contingency, um, date of closing credit, date of possession, right? Lots of cool stuff that you have to uh, look at and it's all good. So all you're going to do is go through there and um, utilize the glossary method, write down all the terms, look them up here, right? And then start making sites about it. And you're going to find a good niche based on your market. You start by promoting your offer and then you build it up using the rest of the stuff we teach and you're good to go. Here's a good faith estimate, right? Here's people that they're like, okay, well, where do I get a good faith estimate? There you go. Low competition. Obviously they're looking to buy a house. Really cool. Super easy to go through. Uh, high risk loan, hazard insurance, all kinds of stuff, right? This stuff is leading to things that are more important. So as you go through, utilize your icons here, uh, utilize glossary, you can do terms and you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So that's a basic overview of how to go through the glossary method. Again, it works like a charm. Don't overthink it. Just go through, utilize those terms. And remember, the only people who are going to use those terms are people who are going to want the end result, which we'll get into in the means to an end profit plan. But for right now, let's go ahead and go through the symptom strategy. This is a great strategy that's going to show you how to find symptoms to problems that people have. Uh, not just health stuff, but other stuff as well, and then provide the solution for them that works really well. Now, the symptom strategy is pretty simple when you look at it in a medical type way. Obviously, if you are bloated and whatever, you have gas or whatever it is, right? And there's certain symptoms that lead to certain things, and those things are where the money's at. Obviously, if someone feels sad, there's not really a lot of money there, but as soon as you call it depression, Bam, now they got counseling and pills and all this stuff for that, right? And what happens is the symptoms is where you want to market to people early. For example, um, instead of going for someone who is looking for like, how do I check into rehab? Why not go for someone typing in like how many drinks is too much, right? And we, when we market at the symptom level, the traffic is a lot cheaper. Let me show you how it works. Let's say, for example, we want to find someone who is going to need financial help. Okay, what kind of things do people search for when they need financial help? For example, one thing could be like a tax lien. Okay, if someone has a tax lien, that's obviously a symptom of something bigger. Now, while you could go for something like the word tax lien, we can also look at the various different subcategory words. For example, if you have something like uh, does a tax lien show up on your credit report or something like that or a notice of tax lien, right? All of these things, if you were to have like notice of tax lien and you do that in Google, you're going to find out that there's not really that many people competing. And when they are, again, we got search query, we got about.com. So we got a lot of blanket bidders here. 
Okay, so it's not as competitive as it looked from first glance. It's clearly not going to be $20 a click, especially if we check on MSN and stuff like that. Now, when we look at this word, we have what is known as a symptom, right? This is a symptom of something deeper. They need help, right? And this back taxes help guy gets the picture. He gets it. He's like, yeah, they probably need some help. All right. Pretty cool. So what we want to do is we want to utilize this and start to think of different symptoms that people would have that would lead them to need the offer, product, service, or information our site is providing. So for example, we could go for something like remove a charge off. Again, this is a word you would have found in your glossary method, right? How do you remove a charge off? Here's 140 people per month who want to remove a charge off from their credit report. Well, they probably already have their credit report, but we can have them check it again, and we can give them tips and things like that. Here's a sample letter to remove charge off. You could also do things like sample letter, right? When someone's writing a letter, they probably want some kind of result, okay? And you can look up things like uh, sample letter for resume. Obviously, they're looking for a job. Uh, you could do things like a hardship letter, right? There's another good one. The only reason people would write a hardship letter or hardship. Let's see if we can do that, right? The only reason someone would want a hardship letter is because they have a hardship, right? And if we have financial hardship letter, that's 880 people a month who are looking for financial hardship letter. We could provide simple letters for them to use and tips to help them out of their hardship, right? This is a symptom. A symptom is, hey, they want to write this letter. Our, uh, our, uh, solution right that's the word i'm looking for is that we can go through and help them out of their hardship right very very easy a lot of this stuff works really well um, another thing you could do is you could go looking for forms right what kind of forms do people fill out to get assistance with things you could do something like a credit form or whatever right see what kind of forms people have or credit removal form right lots of different things working tax credit form uh, credit card form, credit dispute form, uh, annual credit report form, right? There's a good one there. Uh, tax credit claim form, all kinds of different things. And again, you got a lot of gold here, a lot of low, um, low lying fruit here, credit card payment form like this one, credit card payment form. All you have to do is be like, okay, you're going to get the credit card payment form in a minute, put your name and email. And then on the next page, you say, Hey, are you paying over 1.2%? If so, click here to get your um, new credit card or click here to check your credit or something like that. Really cool. You can also do something like affect credit. Okay, what kind of things affect credit or show up on credit, right? These are all things that work extremely well because when people hear things in their life, they go to the internet uh, to get the information on them. Do student loans affect credit? Do student loans, do how long do low, pay, low payments affect your credit? Does bankruptcy, right? Look at all this gold right here. All this stuff people are looking for how to affect credit and you could go in. I mean, just to show you an example, all these have low competition. In essence, what these people want is credit repair. Okay, so we could take this less than $1 per click traffic and put it to something like credit repair. Okay, and when we put it to credit repair and our credit offer and things like that, bam, this one really is $22 a click because it's very, very competitive, right? So we can take and flip from the small, from the symptoms, from the glossary words, from all these things and flip them to stuff that's really, really helpful. And that is the symptom strategy. You want to find symptoms, things that are leading people up. It's kind of like they're on a ladder. Right, the end of the ladder is, okay, I'm gonna file bankruptcy, I'm gonna refinance, I'm gonna do whatever. The end of the ladder is um, the offer you have, the ultimate goal that your site is going to provide. And sometimes someone's gonna be at the very bottom of the steps looking for how do I write a letter uh, to my credit agency? Or what do you do when you get fired? Or how do I sell my house if it's not worth as much as I owe? Right, all these things are little symptoms and they're on the stairs of symptoms and you have the solution which fits, all, <clears throat> which fits all of them. However, they don't know what the solution is and it's our job to help them. So it's very easy to do. And our job is to be a total like genius about these financial hardship letters. Make the best site you can, help them out, give them advice and then put them to the other things that help make you money. And this is where you find the symptoms. It's much in the same way if you were to say, 
um, you know, feeling sad all the time. Okay, that's probably a symptom of depression. Okay, so I can get them into some kind of depression uh, product or something like that, or maybe tired all the time. Okay, these people are probably have some kind of condition, right? These are symptoms. It works really well. You got tired all the time. That's uh, low competition, right? This one, you look it up in Google, it's like nothing. Okay, nothing. No one competing, no bidders, nothing. There's no bidding, right? You can get this for five cents, 10 cents a click. However, one of the things that makes you tired all the time could be like fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia, okay? Um, let's see if we spell check it. Fibromyalgia, okay, we'll just spell check it anyway, right? Fibromyalgia now is a more expensive click, and I don't know if I spelled it right or whatever, okay? Or help for depression, again, is going to be a much higher click as well. <clears throat> now, to bring this in a more real form, uh, what I did is I went through and looked at some of the uh, different terms that I used before I went into a rehab. Obviously, rehab is expensive, just like help for depression. Is. And there's lots of words that I used when I searched for things uh, that could have predicted if I was going to end up in there, right? And if you can predict based on the symptoms what people are going to need, you're going to make a fortune. Just like, why am I tired all the time? Well, you might be depressed because I'm help for depression. It's very simple. This stuff is very easy. Uh, don't overcomplicate it. Now, let's go ahead. I hope you enjoyed the symptom strategy. And now we're going to go into the means to an end profit plan. Marcus here. Sorry for interrupting your video, but we got to pay the bills somehow. And what better way than actually offering you more information on how to make money online? And that's why I'd like to offer you the chance to get your affiliate marketing dude console for free. That's right, you can download this console for free, get access to my training videos and more. And for my serious students out there, the ones that know you like my videos and you like to learn this stuff and you want even more, go ahead and upgrade to the Simple Sites 2016 desktop software. You're going to see once you log in and you have the Simple Sites 2016 desktop software, you have access to everything at your fingertips. And we're going to show you exactly how to make money online. And as if that's not enough, it also comes with 90 days personal support and coaching. That means you get me to look at your sites, give you advice, and everything. As you can see, these videos on YouTube are small little snippets of the videos I provide in our training area. So go to affiliatemarketingdude.com, put your name and email in the box, get the free console, and if you're serious about making money, go ahead and upgrade to Simple Sites 2016, and we'll make money online together. Now, the means to an ends profit plan is a lot like the last one we went through where we were looking for the symptoms. That is to say that obviously people are using something to get to somewhere else. Uh, people look up their credit score to buy something. People look up, um, you know, flights because they're going to fly somewhere. It's like the old Ace Ventura. Why are you going to the airport? Flying somewhere? Right, of course. It's like, okay, something uh, two and two together equals four. And if I can take what you're searching for, and figure out where you're going with it, we can do really, really well. Chances are, if you get a plane ticket, you probably will need a hotel or a car or something. Okay, very cool. So we wanna look at this and wanna say, what kind of things do people use to get to an end, right? For example, if someone's gonna learn about credit scores or flirting or mortgages or whatever, there's certain steps that they're going to take along the way. And your job is to go to do the research to find out those steps before they find it out so that you can lead them down the path and plug affiliate offer every step of the way. For example, when you're uh, learning flirting, right? This is probably because you want to date someone. Okay, so the end result is, hey, you know what? I want to date someone. So first of all, they might sign up for a dating site. They might learn to flirt there. Second, they might go on a date. They might want to learn different things for first dates. Um, all kinds of different things uh, that lead to an end. It's very, very important that you go through these because when you do, things start to change, right? You could do something like um, prepare for, right? What do people want to prepare for? What are the means people are using to prepare for an interview, right? How to prepare for an interview. You know this guy wants a job. Pretty simple, okay? So you can go in and you can prepare a really good thing, how to prepare for college, right? There you go, how to prepare for college. Well, you need to get your credit score, you need to get your student loans in order, you need to figure out how you're gonna do this. 
um, prepare for an exam, prepare for a test, prepare for university, school, MBA, um, prepare for interview, looks like a big one. And along the way, all these things are going on, right? How to prepare for hurricanes. Well, you need to go and you need to get uh, insurance on your house, right? Hurricane insurance and flood insurance or whatever. Okay, you can also look up uh, before, right? What do people want to do before something? Um, you know, you could look at uh, Pearls Before Swine. That's actually pretty good. You can promote the Bible toolbar there. Um, before it was news. Let's see what else we have. Pearls Before. Okay, that looks like a comic, so that might not be that good. Um, before. Okay, and you can even put before with your end result, right? So before marriage, before divorce, right? All the different things people are going to look at because there's certain means to an ends people are going to have if they are wanting to divorce, right? You got uh, separation before divorce, uh, dating before it's final, things to consider before, how long, dating before, right? All these kinds of things are like, okay, well, you have this stuff, right? Before divorce is low competition, it's a penny a click. However, divorce attorney is expensive. Right, so we look at these things and we say, uh, what are the things you need to do? Like here's 27 bucks a click, right? It's the same thing, they just don't know it yet, right? Uh, you could do um, all kinds of different things from credit to divorce to um, before uh, bankruptcy. Right, what do people wanna do before bankruptcy or what do they think you need to do, right? Uh, bankruptcy course before filing. Uh, bankruptcy before divorce, right? All these things, even though it's very little traffic, right? There's a lot of them, so it, it adds up over time. And also, when you look at like bankruptcy lawyer, right? You don't need a whole lot of traffic to make this work. Uh, bankruptcy lawyer is like $30 a click, right? So if you can do this right, if you can anticipate what they want, and if you can go through and find the means they're gonna use to the end. The end is, hey, they need a bankruptcy lawyer, right? It's gonna make it a lot easier. Um, but the means could be all different things. Like if we had tax attorney, okay? Tax attorney is expensive. What kind of things do people want? You could do something like go to Google and do tax help forms, or you could do list of tax forms. Right? And when they do a, licks, a list of tax forms, okay, you're going to see what it is. So here's like individual. We can go through and do something like payment. Okay, Go in, see what kind of form. Payment voucher, estimated payments, um, underpayment, estimated tax. Okay, so if you're underpayment, you can find out stuff. Underpayment, there it is again. We could do um, first time home buyer credit. Don't really need that. But a lot of this up credit for employer differential. Right, and then when we look at this stuff, we could do something like, um, let's do lean, or you could do something like, let's take a look at some of these sales and other dispositions, Medicare, okay. Um, what else we have? Non-deductible IRA, low income housing credit. Okay, so low income housing credit you can go to this and say, well, how many people are searching for this? Form 8586. The only reason they'd look for it is a means to an end, right? And you could just go down the list and say, okay, well, here's annual sentiment. Here is injured spouse mortgage interest credit. Okay. There's one for mortgage interest credit. 480 people looking for that form every month. Right? And these things start to add up. So what I want you to do is start to think differently about niche marketing and start to think in terms of how you could be an expert on one thing. Right? How can you be an expert on a certain specific thing and help people with this stuff? Right? Here's um, additional taxes and moving expenses and whatever. Right? All kinds of different things. And you could utilize this to your advantage to make a lot of money. So to recap, we went over those four ways to go through and find your niche. Um, we wanna go through, we wanna use those. We wanna find keywords that work good. And when we find keywords, run them through your program, find some domain names, and then go back and utilize the icons to go ahead and start with your niche. If you have not gone through the hub site video, you can go ahead and click on Simple Sites Big Profits here. You can go ahead and click on 
build your blog right here and it'll take you to the hub site video that'll show you how to get started once you find a niche. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot about how to find niches and how to utilize the software along with my methods. Use the niche finding tools and everything below to get more detailed and get started with your niche. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video and we're going to learn how to find offers and build your site. Thanks again. Marcus here. Sorry for interrupting your video, but we got to pay the bills somehow. And what better way than actually offering you more information on how to make money online? And that's why I'd like to offer you the chance to get your affiliate marketing dude console for free. That's right, you can download this console for free, get access to my training videos and more. And for my serious students out there, the ones that know you like my videos and you like to learn this stuff and you want even more, go ahead and upgrade to the Simple Sites 2016 desktop software. You're going to see once you log in and you have the Simple Sites 2016 desktop software, you have access to everything at your fingertips. And we're going to show you exactly how to make money online. And as if that's not enough, it also comes with 90 days personal support and coaching. That means you get me to look at your sites, give you advice, and everything. As you can see, these videos on YouTube are small little snippets of the videos I provide in our training area. So go to affiliatemarketingdude.com, put your name and email in the box, get the free console, and if you're serious about making money, go ahead and upgrade to Simple Sites 2016, and we'll make money online together.